Hi everybody, my name is Charlene Gustave. Um, today I'm taking my time to talk to you guys about a situation I've been living for about like a week now. It is really hard, but um, I'm just gonna start by this. God is good. God is good, guys. If anybody who doesn't know God, I would encourage you to look and seek for God because he's good. He's the one who can give you peace. Because what I'm been through right now, I think if I didn't have God in my life, I would have already break down. But because I have my Savior in my life, and he's good to me, I'm standing strong. Well, it's been a week now. Um, my roommate, she told me she have COVID-19. And as she was telling me that I was earlier in a womb uh, with my baby, that one year old, serving her a drink because it's been like a few days before she, she wasn't feeling well. So I was I was concerned. So I went and I bought her a, a juice or boost. And that morning I went into her home and 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 gave her that drink with my baby with my one year old and a half in my hand. And around two, three hours later, she called me and letting me know while I, as I was walking in to her home, she told me, stop, uh, don't come f closer because I have the COVID-19. Guys, I don't know if anybody, anybody would believe me. It didn't do anything to me. When she said that to me, I was in peace and calm. My heart didn't waste one second. And I'm telling you guys, it's not because I'm strong. It's not because I'm, you know, like powerful or whatever. It's because I have my Savior, Jesus Christ, in my life. Because weeks before, he was, I used to have, you know, revelation. And he, uh, he in my dream, he used to tell me stuff. He he prepared me for the situation before, bef before, head before I didn't know. Because I had three or four dreams about that earlier so that's mean i was prepared he told me the situation before i leave the situation so when she told me that and i was like well okay then but now what is make it like you know a little bit hard for me because right now i'm not living alone with her uh like you know i would say okay it's only me and her and that'll be cool it's because i have four kids in the house with me a nine year old a seven and a half a five and a half and a one and a half so can you imagine being in a situation like that where you know the person come to you and say you have something like that and you have myself and four other lives that i cherish a lot living with me i can run i can go anywhere because I must stay in, in, in quarantine too. So that's mean I have to stay 14 days at home too. Same as her. And hey, wow. Wow, she's staying there for 14 days. Who else needs to take in care of her? That's me. But then again, I take my courage and I tell God to fortify me and give me strength to deal with that situation. Like I was saying, yes, Raza, I'm busy right now, okay, papi? See, like I say right now, I have my little, I have right now my little one, Woz, this is Chad, this is Miss Sarah Lynn, and Razael, he's in the washroom. And uh, my roommate, she's upstairs. But to make the story a little bit short, just bef just be before she moved in, two days she moved in, 
I had a dream and I saw my Lord show me a woman who had a disease, but it was a skin disease. It was really contagious. And he showed me while I was taking care of this lady, she passed me, she gave me that disease. She gave me that, you know, that sickness and contagious sickness. She shows me in the dream, it was a contagious. That was the first dream. The second dream, I, I see, I saw uh, one of my friend who had her two kids has the disease and they came to me, run up to me and hold me. And her, as I was holding them, I said, oh my goodness, it's afterward. I'm thinking, oh my God, they have the disease. Those, that's mean I'm going to catch it. I have it too. And I saw, I saw she have a earring and she gave me the earring and I saw the earring was on chocolate and I started eating the earring because I love so chocolate so much. So I said, oh my God, Charlene, you're so bad. You know, she gave you the earring. The earring just came up from her ear and then you're eating the, ear, uh, the earring and blah, 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 so on. And the third dreams that I have, I saw myself um, was in my womb and there's a lady come up to me and say, you know, prepare me showing me medication what to do what to give that person that is i i saw that he was sick in my house and i said oh okay when i wake up i don't speak you know any uh lingana i wake up and with with a name in my head so Miss mezana i wrote it down somewhere so when i wake up with that name I went and Google and I Google it and I see the 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 words and ligana means medication. I say, hmm, why I would have a dream say, you know, I need to prepare me for medication. So I didn't take the dream seriously. But the thing is, I had two wombs downstairs upstairs, and I used to live in one of the wombs and uh, and I have another room downstairs. It's completely separate with the house and everything. And my daughter come to me. That was, that was, that was, that was the thing that God's like prepare me. He said to me, mommy, why are we are staying upstairs? I think the room downstairs is going to be good for us. I saw the fourth dream. She's the one who had the fourth dream, not me, my daughter, nine year old. She said, I saw in my dream that we move in the room downstairs. As she was saying that to me as a mother, I would say, oh no, uh, not good. it's not good for us, the room downstairs. And then, so I thought about it and I give a second to say, hmm, she probably right, you know, the room downstairs might be better for me too with the kids. So the kids, each kid has the room. They used to have the room upstairs. Suddenly what I do, I remove all my kids, all the four kids, and I put them in the same room as me downstairs. I can go and ch show you guys that, you know, it's not a lie. I move all my four kids downstairs with me in one room because she told me, mommy, I had a dream and I saw all of us was downstairs, living downstairs. And I start moving my stuff. I start moving my bed. I start moving their bed. And I start, you know, uh, cleaning the womb. By the way, the womb here, you know, it's completely separate. I have my own shower, you see? I have my own shower here, my own bathroom here. So this is the womb. So I move in with the kids uh, a month and a half ago. And you see, this is where I, I sleep. This is where I sleep, and this is the baby's crib, and this is my big bed. I gave them, all of them sleep there. And you can see in the backyard, there's a, there's a little yard there. So today, like I, I, after a week and a half, I let the kids went to the yard, play a little bit, and we have our own privacy. Like I was saying, God has prepared me everything that i need to do he prepare me so i move in here with the kids we five of us in the same room i don't know why i did that and there's rooms down upstairs empty 
So I just came here with my kids. So I'm just letting you guys know, if you don't have Jesus in your life, go get him, go get him. Go look for his presence because his will, his will. And as I was talking, I'm, I'm talking to you right now, guys. I have faith in my Lord. I have faith and he has given me strength. Because strength that he's given me right now, I don't know where I found it. If it was me, I would have break, on, break down a long time ago. With four kids in the house, you need to keep distance. You need to clean up. You need all the time. I'm with my Javel. Um... Uh, cleaning, you know, um, put it, uh, you know, javel on a, on a water spray, spraying everywhere in the house, cutting onions, put onions everywhere in the house, you know, put Vicks, um, some, um, uh, Robin, Vaporware Robin Vicks, put it everywhere. I've been doing everything like a mad woman, but with a peace in my heart, with a peace in my life, because my savior lives, he lives, he lives. He lives. He's not dead. He's not anywhere that he shouldn't be. He's here watching over me and my kids. He's here watching over this planet. Satan can do anything they want. But as long as you have Jesus in your life, you're going to be filling with peace and you will be filling with, you know, strength. So he has given me strength. And to tell you the truth, in, in that situation, I realized and I was able to take good decision to see who is me, who is with me or who's against me. Because God himself, he said, if you're not with me, that's when you're against me. So I realized who's my friend is, who I, I should go alone, continue my life with and who I should put a stop in my life. So God is good. I'm letting you guys know God is good. And Jan, John 14 verses 17, I believe, how he's talking about peace. How he said, I'm leaving you with peace. I'm giving you my peace. It's not the peace that the world give, but it's the peace come from my Lord. It's different peace. So guys, I'm going to encourage you. To look Jesus to look for his presence because when you have God presence in your life the storm can come moving you around oh sorry <laughs> the storm can come moving you around now by the way that was a piece of rice I just ate rice well okay the storm can come moving you around shaking you around but you will stay still Still, because you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. And the thing is, guys, you need to know that coronavirus is not like on any little, you know, corona, coronavirus like people talk. It's a demoniac thing happening. Four months ago, Lord had, the Lord had told me about this devil, these principles that's going to come. And pollute the the air, killing people with his poison. You know, it's a poison in the air, killing people. So the other day he came here, you know, as I pick up all the ladies' clothes and for me to watch them because she needs to stay clean too, you know. And as I put the kids in the bed and they fall asleep. I put her clothes in the washer, washing. Oh, one, one o'clock, two o'clock. I smell that poison smell. Like it's so strong. Like, you know, I couldn't breathe. And suddenly I realized this is him here. Because the Lord had talked to me about him before that. I had smelled that smell before that. So I recognize him when he's here. So I say, you know what, devil, you a liar. I ain't afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you because I have the Lord Jesus Christ. His blood has shed for me and for my children. So I ain't scared of you and I, you're not, you're not fearing me. My Lord told me I shall know. Fear not. Fear not. 
So, guys, I'm just saying, it's not an easy thing. But has my Lord give me strength? I'm trying to stay positive. And I know my family is going to get through this. My kids and I are going to get through this. And the lady upstairs is going to get through this. In the name of Jesus Christ, she will be healed. And she's already healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, because the day, um, four days ago, I saw a green flower coming over me. And the green flower, I felt the energy. But it wasn't a bad energy. I felt it was a good energy. Green represents healing. And the flower, it's a beautiful thing. So God come to me that night and let me know this house will have healing. This lady will have healing because I felt his energy. So you can imagine being in a house with four kids. Ah, four kids. With a situation like that, some people would have been going nuts, banana. But the lord has gave me peace like i said this is as a yell he gave me peace he gave me peace he gave me peace to continue doing what i have to do to take care of my kids to care for my life to care for my kids life and to care for that lady's life upstairs and my faith in him i know he's not gonna let me down he never let me down and will never let me down because he have a good, good plan for my life, good plan for my kids. And Jeremiah, he says that before I was in my mom, whom he know me, he know my name, he know what he reserved for me. So I am not afraid. Thank you very much for listening. As I'm asking, pray for me. And I'm praying for everybody that going through that situation that God give them strength and give them that peace that I'm talking about to go through the storm peacefully. Thank you for watching. May God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Subscribe.